All right. Time to introduce the new cog to the old cog. And clear these bucket heads out of my house. Mate, what's Gears of War for? Awesome. Yeah, this one's I yours. I cannot wait, mate. <laughs> you are the I biggest Gears I cannot Gears wait for this. Every time that I see a Gears... Wait, 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 goggles? Mate. Bad goggles. Yeah? <laughs> You're but such yeah. a fanboy. Shut up. Every time that I see anything to do with Gears, and obviously I've not played on console for a while, my willpower just drops to the point where it's like, somehow I have to own this. And I have to finish it. I have to finish it. But luckily now, it's my job, mate, so yeah. you let me do it. I will say, we got, this is the first, we bought an Xbox One for this, because Microsoft store. No. And they didn't give us a boxed copy. What's oh, that yeah, about? Oh yeah, just like a cardboard Nothing sleeve. to do with Gears no. 4, I'm just saying. I'm annoyed. Come on, Microsoft. Right, you go Step play Gears. Up. I'm going to do it, mate. <laughs> Gears 4, mate. Is it a direct sequel? It is, pal. It is. All right, so I don't know where we are on spoilers for 3. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries. So, yeah. <laughs> What's the story of this one? Because we kind of won in 3, I can say that. We did win. It was kind of like an absolute. There was an expansion after 3, but this is directly after all that, which okay. goes back to the main storyline. So, basically... Gears 4 is set 25 years after the countermeasure was deployed to the emotion. The paint. I knew you was going to say paint. It reminds me of paint every it's time Bob you said emotion. I just feel like everything. I'm just decorating. Well, that's it, you know? It was, it was a happy little incident. We should have called happened. it orange jizz balls. Get out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, after the uh, it's 25 years after the event of it, and I've, ever since the countermeasure was deployed, there's been these wind flares that pop up. So COG have walled off all the cities to protect the people inside. Oh, just dread. Yeah, yeah sounds yeah, good, yeah. right? Wrong. No, didn't yeah. work out well for Judge. <laughs> <laughs> so inside these cities, they, they put into effect martial law, and there are people that go on the outside, obviously outsiders, and set up their own villages, which the cities don't like, the government don't like. Oh, so it's not radioactive or anything? No, 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 it's not radioactive, but the wind flares outside of the city, you're not protected. And we'll right, see that okay. in the later footage, that they are pretty devastating as well. Pretty. So what happens is at the start is you you see the ceremony and you see flashbacks through Hoffman, the colonel. So you don't have to play the other three? You don't have to play the other three. Oh, okay. We're going to get to that, don't worry. So you play the flashbacks through Hoffman's eyes of all the different events that led up to the doomsday of the Locust. So you get to see things like the emergence day when it actually came around or the Anvil Gate and a couple of other scenarios before you actually jump into the main character. <laughs> who so, is? Who is JD. JD Phoenix, mate. Oh, son. Oh, it is it's a son. It's the son. It's the I was just going to say, 25 years later, Marcus has got to be looking pre rough Oh, yeah, his balls have been everywhere. Yeah. His balls <laughs> That's have been everywhere. Saggy nuts. So we find out that JD's basically left the cog. He's <gasps> not He's not down with it, mate. This mm. martial law thing, no, there's no freedom there. Mm. So he, him and a friend of his, Del, mate. Del. Del. <laughs> uh, are actually raiding a cog... Um, not institute, well, like a building that's got uh, vital supplies in that they need for their village. Oh, uh, okay. So it's almost like a demolition man vibe at that point. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Taco Bell's going down, Taco Bell's going to get it. Or Pizza Hut, depending on where you are, mate. <laughs> so they're going in there for their Taco Bell and a fabricator. And then we learn that the, uh, the cog knows where they are, so they're sending everything after them. Mm. So they get back to their village, and then they institute all these items that they've got from their raid and then the cog attack the village. Now, if this is where we're gonna end the story yeah, that's conversation, the again. but after the fight, obviously you hold off the cog, it's part of the game, it's part of the intro, so no spoilers. But after that, there are loads of huge creatures that come out, take the bodies, take helpless survivors, and then run away, they don't fight. So, so our mission basically in this who's game... Who's your main enemy in the game? That's the point, you see. Okay. You're trying to find out where the hell these survivors have gone because one of the main characters, her mother's been taken while at the same time fending off the cog. That sounds like an entirely new world. It's... I saw you playing it, so the gameplay is very much the same. The, the gameplay game. is pretty much the same, yeah. So let's get into all the right, gameplay. So, yeah, I'm actually interested in the story now. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you can get, mate. Without me going into too much spoilers, that's what it is. You're trying to find an end to where that... What the hell's happening with these survivors, which you learn through the game, amongst other things, which obviously I don't want to tell okay, you about, with this being a first look. Yeah, too fair. So, so let's go into the gameplay. Let's go into so, the gameplay, then. Now, this is a direct feel of the other Gears games, cool, and I'm kind good. of glad. Even though it has some points that I don't like about the gameplay, we'll get to that. It's still comfortable to me. That muscle memory still there. Well, you bought there. a Gears of War game. You expect fucking Gears of War. Exactly. Right? You Eggs expect Gears of War. Exactly. So you expect an RTS exactly or some fucking nonsense. Right? Yeah. It, I mean, it's put a couple of new elements in. Nothing that's 
um, an ability that you constantly have to use to throw into your arsenal, but little things like you can shoulder badge like the bigger enemies now to take them off balance and then you can rip them to bits. I assume the chainsaw is still there. Mate, we're gonna <laughs> just hold your guns, put them back, we're going to get to the chainsaw. It's one of the very big pluses for me. And there's another one as well which is basically called a cover takedown. So if you're behind cover, your enemy's on the other side of the cover, or if they're walking past, you can drag them over, which will put them into a brief stun phase. And you oh, can that's execute cool. Them. Yeah, oh, so right. I assume we're still moving through many areas of convenient cover, which Gears of War was exactly. not for. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, we, like we, we touched on there, the mood of the game feels like just the Gears of War game. Mm -hmm. um, there's still the really heart-wrenching moments of the story. Oh, but cool. Also, yeah, but it's not all doom and gloom like with the other titles as well. It's, there is nice comedy thrown in, but not cringe comedy if that I makes assume sense. given 25 years later then no triple T no spoiler okay I won't ask that question I won't ask that question <laughs> yeah. the only one that I will spoil is because it's obvious from the trailer Marcus is back yeah. which was oh. for me as a fanboy I was sat there and just got goosebumps everywhere <laughs> yeah you do love your games everywhere um, so obviously you tell Marcus what's going on and he wants to help and he accompanies you through the game okay now, as we get into the meat of the game, things start to pick up. You go through the environments, they're all varied environments. It could, it's like some areas, when you go to see the outcast, it's a sunny day when you're holding off hordes of creatures. And then you're going through dingy sewers where everything jumps out Yeah, it almost you. had a bullet storm feel to it exactly. rather than Gears, because Gears yeah. was always very grey. That's it, yeah. yeah. Gears yeah. was always super grey. Um, what I do like in this as well is they've done it briefly in the other Gears, and it's just something that I picked up on more in this title, so maybe it's just more prominent, is... The areas that you fight in, there are different kinds of fights and it gives you weapons. So you, you're not so much forced to change weapons, but it gives you the option to use that variety. Okay. For example... It sets you up to take exactly, advantage of different weapons rather exactly. than sticking. Because I think when I, when I played Gears 1 through 3, I just had the main weapon from like 90 percent Well, that was me. I'll tell you my playthrough is, and there's a very nice cutscene of it as well, is it's a matter of time. And this was what was like I stopped you before. One big moment for me is... Coming back to the franchise, I couldn't wait to get a Lancer. Yep. It's so iconic to me. It's one of my top weapons in a game. And there's a brief cutscene, you get it, and all the way through the game, I'd have my sidearm, my secondary weapon, and I'd always have a Lancer. Yep. It's so good. So you get a nice cutscene for that. You get the Lancer, and all the all, all the original ass kickeries are, uh, are in the game as well, like the long shot sniper rifle, boom shot. The yeah, they never shot. really introduced new weapons to Gears, did they? they well, that's the famous it. ones. There are, I think there's two more in this, if I remember rightly, which is uh, like a de detonating drill gun. Ooh. You fire out a drill bit in a horizontal line from your barrel, and that's then you detonate horrible. it, and it goes straight down and explodes, which is quite oh, cool. so it's like a grenade launcher. Exactly, yeah, okay. exactly, but there's no dip, it's a straight line. Uh, the other one, it fires circular blades. <laughs> I think it's actually called the buzzkill. And, and then they, they have proper, like, uh, limb removal or anything. Uh, I don't think they do. Oh, you can hack pity. things off, but I don't think it's generated yeah, by yeah, like yeah. the saw hitting the arm or anything like that. Bummer. On top of that, you get um, a couple of the... I hate using the term mechs, but let's call a spade a spade. You get a couple of mechs. You get the ones that you've seen in the original games and the horde modes, and you get a couple more later on, which are big points in the game. You'll probably see the footage, but I'm going to give you no context as to how or why you get them. Can I ask you, how are they for turret sections? Because they always bug me in the Gears games. Right, I don't believe that you don't like that. I, that was one of the big things for me, is they nicely incorporated, and it is a huge, huge fan-based part of the game, is yeah. the Horde mode. Now, they keep it simple in the campaign, where you just basically build small turrets or razor wire, and you can upgrade those or repair them. Um, like I say, it's a very simplified version, mm -hmm. but the sections in the game where they do that, where you're defending something or you're waiting for someone to do something while you're doing it, um, so I like the fact that they incorporated that as well. Yeah, it's really um, nice. it just a case of how many for me. Like, I don't mind the good turret section. Yeah. But if they're, you know, every few minutes or something like that. Yeah. Um, on top of that, obviously, that's that's the campaign. It's so hard to really, really get into the guts of this game without spoiling it because I'm no, so okay. passionate that's about right. Gears. It's so good. Um, but the multiplayer is still there. Yep. You've got your PvP, which is such... A hardcore fan base. Yes. Hardcore yeah. fan base. The Even guys the, the, take it yeah, serious. the minor tweaks to weapons and things like that that COG do, they're all over it. And of course, like we mentioned before, Horde's there as well. So I had actually I had a bit of fun with the Horde mode. I tried the PvP, but I've I'd have to spend time in that to get into it. Both there, both still feel really good and obviously have a lot of replayability as well. So, really quickly, blush blushing. I'm pushing, pushing, mate. Pushing. <laughs> 
really quickly brushing over the pros and cons being uh, pros, uh, it picks up exactly where the other Gears games left off. Yeah, not going to like a prequel to exactly. the main characters or anything but like that. Also, if this is your first Gears title, just the small prologue missions that you get from Hoffman at the start give you a feel for what the game's about. Yeah. So it tells you exactly where you're going and where you've been, essentially. Um, the enemy variety through the game, because you're not just fighting the Locust now. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, because it was always a little stale. It was, well, yeah, say, I see what style. you mean, yeah, you get the variety of locusts, but now you've got a whole different genre to deal with, cool. you're fighting cog robots, you're fighting um, the, the swarm they've been dubbed now, mate, the swarm. The swarm. Yeah, but those mobs in themselves, I felt like, and it, people may see this as a negative, but they felt like they were designed for you to use certain weapons, not just the areas like we talked about But you weren't before. fast, it wasn't like Duke yeah. Forever where it was like, you must use the Devastator. Exactly, like, only exactly. You like you'll meet uh, a mob type called a Juvie, which is something that's like a, a fast running critter beast. You can use it with, you can kill it with assault rifles, you can kill all kinds of things, but what are you going to use? Chainsaw. Chainsaw. You're just <laughs> I don't even have to massacre. Think. Little fast thing, exactly. like, come here, buddy. Let walk, me educate you. Yeah, walk into my line of sight. Let's have some fun. Ah! Everything was there for me. The feel of the game, the gameplay itself, beautiful. The cons, there's only a yeah, couple of small cons. Yeah, uh, one of them, it's a running thing. It's not just Gears 4, but it's still for me the clunky, the movement, and that annoys me the most um, when you're going from cover to cover. Oh, do you mean like sticky walls and stuff? Kind of, yeah. yeah. But like when I'm, if I'm sprinting and there's an obstacle in the way, which I can jump. But I have to press additional buttons in combination to get oh, over the so you obstacle. prefer more like an Assassin's Creed style so, where yeah, it's like a free-running style. So yeah, I've got comfortable style. with like the Assassin's Creed style free-running. Obviously, I don't expect a cog to free-run. Yeah, exactly. I just expect them to vault over the object when I'm sprinting towards mm. it. Um, and the other one being, earlier in the game, you fight cog bots. And the way they spawn in the game is an aircraft carrier will fly over, drop a load of pods, and they're there. Right. It was just constant and relentless at the start of the game. Oh, like, just, I get it. Yeah, Let's it's like, I, in, in a way that it almost forces you to change your weapons, um, to hold your ammo, let your, AI, I get what they're trying to do, to hold your ammo, to get your AI to combat them, but, and the weapons that you switch to that they drop are very weak. They mince you. It just you. wasn't fun. It, yeah, it yeah, just it wasn't just, fun. It, they can put things like that, I, and it's just like, yeah, I get what you're doing, I but this isn't fun. I think it's just to, to stretch the start of the game. But out. it was I just get the it. start. I get it, but that is just the start. By the time that they return, you've got some heavy weapons to deal with. <laughs> so that's not a problem <laughs> So you at almost all. get a revenge kick out of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool, man. So what's your conclusion on Gears of War? Right. Well... Four. <laughs> Four. I could sit here and I can spend all this time blowing the sunshine out of Gears' ass, And I will. So, <laughs> the story was solid. There's, like we said before, there's the pre-quest, so if it's your first title, it's all there. It feels like a Gears game in terms of the, how com not complex, but how deep the story gets that's easy to grasp. The controls felt exactly the same, even with the clunkiness. It's a Gears game, you enjoy the crap out of it. And it's friendly to new players and to the returning people as well who enjoy the franchise, and there's these little snippets or references, even cameos of people that eat, they may even just have one line. And it's like immediately, it's like, I know that person. You know, it's just, I'm not going to spoil it because it's in every Gears yeah, game. What, we can, what you can say is that it's a great addition. It's what you wanted from a Gears sequel. Exactly. Yeah, it's what you exactly. wanted. Exactly. It is over the top. It's everything that I wanted. And Carmine is such, he's the unsung hero of Gears. He always seems to die or get hurt, and he just walks, and he's always got his helmet on. And in near the start of the game, so like I say, I'm not spoiling it, he walks past, he's carrying a crate, he's got his helmet on, and he just has one line, it's just like, oh, there's Carmine. There's Carmine. So yeah. everything, yeah, hey, absolutely you. loved it. Hey, um, so people who are going to like it then, Yeah, pretty people easy. who are going to enjoy it is, is pretty standard, there's nothing like Gears. There is nothing like Gears. So if you enjoyed this, if it's your first title, go get the other four. Army of Two. Army of Two, yeah. That's like Gears. It's the same kind of controllers. Yeah, well, we can go game. into the controller Army of Two, Resistance, there, even though. Halo, <laughs> in terms of the alien invasions and stuff like that. But yeah, if it's your first Gears, go play the rest. Rock on. Just probably not get it off the Microsoft Store. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, will there Beautiful. be another one? Beautiful. Uh, never you mind, mate. Never you mind. Amazing game. We, I think, I next about. I want to say about eight hours of campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, that was only on normal, by the way. I, I'm going to go through on a harder difficulty, and about two hours of horde, and about forty minutes of multiplayer as well. Not PvP. Bad. So Not yeah, bad. absolutely loved it. Every aspect of it. The three that I mentioned have got so much replayability. Beautiful game. Beautiful this is a happy me. man from his Gears 4. So if you enjoyed that video, please click our other one for the video we did last time, which was Watch Dogs 2, coming out on PC soon. It's out on the consoles right now. It is. Um, there's no highlights for this one because we recorded it before we started doing the highlights. So there isn't any. But you can uh, watch the bot of Watch Dogs 2 if you want. Or Beholder. You can indeed, mate. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Yo, whose place am I in?